Hey everyone! I'm going to be showing you how to apply foundation today. Here's my bare naked skin. I have no makeup on whatsoever. And I'm going to be using different kinds of brushes as well as different kinds of foundations. Now there's no right or wrong way to apply foundation. You should definitely do and use whatever you find works best for you. But I just wanted to show you a few different methods. So stay tuned. So of course you want to first start off with a clean and moisturized face. I'm going to be applying different foundations on different sections of my face, so bear with me. But I'm going to start with this brush right here. This is the Sigma F60. And it's like the usual type of, you know, synthetic bristled um, flat kind of foundation brush. And I like to use this with cream and liquid products. When I'm working on others especially, I, I tend to use this type of brush. So I'm going to be using this with a cream foundation today. I just have some on my palette here. Okay, I'm going to apply this to this section of my face as well as like in the crevices around here around my nose and underneath because those areas are a little bit harder to reach which is why I like to use this type of brush on others. Alright, so let's get started. So I just like to kind of use like small strokes and almost like press it in there so it really blends in. If you are going to apply it, go ahead and apply some right on the eyes too because it's just going to help even out the skin around your eyes as well. Okay, so I'm going to get into the crevices of my nose. Underneath my nose as well. Make sure to just really blend that in there. Since I have more product, I'll go ahead and just apply it here on my cheeks so that you can see that it eliminates the redness. Okay, there you go. So that's this brush and using a cream product. So next I'm going to use the Sigma F50, which is the duo fiber brush. A lot of people like to use this with their liquid foundation because they can just like pounce it on, stipple it on their face, and it almost gives that airbrushed effect. I wouldn't use it with cream foundation. Cream foundation would be too like thick for this. And for powder foundation, this wouldn't give you very much coverage at all. It would give you like a dusting. So definitely with liquid. I'm just gonna use this foundation that I have on right here. And I'm literally just like dipping it in. You don't have to dip in a lot. And then you can just stipple it onto your face just like this. It's a little bit more difficult to get into like the crevices of your nose with this, but on like the flatter planes of your face, it's quite nice. See, as you can see, that covered up the redness in my cheeks and just gave me a nice even coverage there. Okay, next I'm going to be using the F80, which is the flat top kabuki brush. And this is probably my favorite brush to use on myself when I'm just trying to apply um, a full coverage like liquid foundation or even with like a mineral foundation. So I'm going to be dipping this into another foundation which has a thicker consistency. With the stippling brush I used with, um, I used a foundation that has like a thinner, like more liquidy consistency, but if I really want to like buff something in and make sure it blends nicely, I like using it with a, a thicker consistency foundation. So I'm just going to dip it into that. Like as you can tell, this one is like running, but this one kind of stays put. So okay, I'm going to apply this right up here. And all over my eyes as well. And I love this brush because it really just blends everything in. I'm also going to go on this side of my face. as well as down my nose. Okay, lastly, powder foundation. Now I like using, like I said, the flat top kabuki with a powder or mineral foundation as well, but I'm going to be using the uh, kabuki, I believe this is their Hollywood one, and I like this one even more for powder and mineral foundation because as you can tell, it's like wider than this one. So I'm gonna be using this with a powder foundation. I'm just gonna go into this powder here and then I'm going to apply it down here. As you can tell, this one is a bit of like a darker color. Generally, powders won't give you as much coverage. 
So I love flat top kabukis. Probably one of like my favorite types of brushes. Since I have some leftover product here, I'm going to go ahead and just use it um, on the rest of my face and go ahead and blend it down into my neck so that I don't have that mask-like look. So when you're applying liquid foundation, you want to make sure you blend it all over down into the neck and a little bit into the hairline too. Just blends it all in. So that was four ways of how to apply foundation using different types of brushes. This was a video sponsored by Sigma, so if you all recall, I mentioned that with each sponsored Sigma video, there would be a corresponding giveaway. I am going to post up this giveaway sometime next week, so definitely keep an eye out. You'll have the chance to win gift certificates to shop on sigmabeauty.com. Let me know what you thought of this video down below, and I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.